yesterday. Welcome to the Vortex, the Time Vortex. This is Strato Time Lord Strato here for another episode of Roll20.net The Last Tower. Um again I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are you know leave a like, subscribe. Are we live there, Jack? Yes we are very much alive and All live. Right. Okay Mr Darna, go ahead and take it away. Excellent. So last we left our group, uh, a little bit of a hostile welcome into the land of Rokugan, and for those people out there, yes, this is from the 5th edition book of uh, Lord of the Five Rings, so kind of uh, going off that, but I have tweaked a little bit, um, but uh to follow our timeline and give it a little bit of a uh, different flavor, so hopefully you enjoy it. So, um, so you guys were eating dinner, I guess, having a little party. That's with right. Yes. The constituents. Okay. So let us go with that. Um, I think we'll go around the table here. So while... Aaron is having discussion with the Phoenix Clan, um, Shukinja. What are you doing, Eden? What's your character doing in the party? Or slash kind of a makeshift picnic? Well, since I did, did tell the goblin last time, the goblin merchant last time, I was going to try to help him in, well, selling his wares, I am trying to find a way to talk to other merchants to see if I can help him establish some sort of trading route. And how and gauging how they feel about this. Alright, right now there's two groups here. There's the Mantis group. The Mantis clan. And the Phoenix. So which group would you like to engage with talk about um, supplies. I will engage with the or, mantis Okay. for him. Right. So there's a mantis, uh, many mantis courtiers there and other people hanging around. Um, you see one that seems to be talking to the goblins and orcs. Um, and approaches you and uh, greets you. Mm -hmm. of it course. is a pleasure to meet you. What is your name? I am Zahedan. I am Shahad of the Mantis. I am uh, one of the captains of the ship that stopped you. It is a pleasure to meet you, Captain. I am... Um, I've never been this close to an orc or a goblin without killing it first. It's honestly refreshing to see that creatures of this nature weren't originally corrupted. And uh, the non-corrupted ones have sort of a little bit of charm to them, he says. Well, these ones are definitely different. I I have known myself for them to be more of the violent type, but not corrupted, as you would say. But this group definitely seems to be working towards a more peaceful solution than a more war ta wartime solution. Hmm. I've heard from overheard some conversation of uh, they were trying to find a proper place to set up shop here for commerce. Yes, they were looking to do that. <laughs> Extremely dangerous avenue, I might add. But um, he points to the map and if you'll see the islands down to the uh, north of the map. The M4, M6, M... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
those are the majority of our lands. We are the only ones who um, deal with foreign dignitaries, so to speak. If you wish to trade spices and goods, um, that would be the best place to go uh, for the future when you come here. I knew you did not know that, but... Um, well, thank you for informing us so that we can correct our directional paths. He's like, the... Either one of those cities, probably the one that's closest to your location, which he points to the one on M4, let me pull out the information on that and get my notebook real quick. Sure thing. It is known as the Iron Triple City. It is, this is a really interesting name, but, uh, let's see here. I do not know how to pronounce this because I'm going to ruin it, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass it in the chat. Kotetsukun? Yeah. It looks like Kotetsu is in there, and then there's the Ukun. Kotetsukun? Yep. It is, um... It is a massive shipyard that dominates the... every inch of the coastline there. So, um... It is the the basic shipyard of the entire Mantis fleet, and probably produces more ships than any other providence in the country. Um, there are some crab there that do protect the uh, shipyards, but um, they say that those will be easily to negotiate with. Um, they also produce ships for the Phoenix as well as the Crane, but Mantis are generally the ones that make their ships there. So, that would be probably the best place to go, because you will have one, two, three, four of the clans that you can deal with from there. Okay. Alright. Well, that's what you're talking about. Albaz, what are you what are you going to do while you're here? Well <coughs> that is I said a very cool question. I wait, was we out of feast a feast? What's that? Was we out of feast? Yeah. It's kind of like an outside picnic slash feast. I am just drinking away. Uh, sake. Okay. Yeah, the rice, the rice uh, drink that they call sake here is pretty fantastic. Um, well, I mean, what you? I don't know if you've ever personally drank sake, but uh, I have. Pretty, I have never tried alcohol. All right, so roll roll me a fortitude check, he's and, in, and roll me a percentage dice. He's undead, Leo. <clears throat> I know. Okay. Just double checking. <laughs> the 
report to check to see how his undead body handled the sake. <laughs> <laughs> you do not like this. No, I'm uh, 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 I'd say he probably handles it well, but does not like the taste of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see what can I do here. Uh, That's funny. Mm. Oh. oh. Indeed. I think. Rolling that 100%, I'm going to say that you probably, um, some, some side effect, negative side effect when you drink the sake. What, I'll let you decide what that is. What, what is it that the sake does to you that maybe is not too bad of a negative side effect, but something that is kind of funny in a, in a, in a sense. Maybe you're a little bit more kind, a little bit laugh aloud, or a little more boisterous, or you like start singing and stuff, or what do you say? Yeah, I'm probably beginning to sing and having a, actually a fun time right now, instead of being grumpy all the time. Alright, so yeah. Um, I'm singing, I, yeah. when I think about it, I actually start to think of a singer by the Romeans nation. Yeah, That's not a song. The problem with that role is now everybody here in the group notices that when he drinks too much of their stocking, he gets happy, go lucky, and very, very, very kind. He's like, oh, sure, go ahead, buddy. And he's all patting the orcs. Like, you notice that he wasn't friendly with the orcs or the goblins during the whole trip, but now that he's got the stocking in him, he's like hugging them and singing some janky tunes with them. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> Complete change from what he was. Mental Rest. notes are being taken. Yeah, what's that? I said mental notes have been taken. Yes. Razmi, what are you doing during the party? Uh. I mean, I was more or less just here because I didn't want, you know, everybody else to go alone. <laughs> Because I'm not on any kind of secret mission to stop anything or anything like that. Uh, fantastic. Um, but I guess I will just be drinking with the natives and watching our friendly vampire get drunk and happy. Um, are you get, drinking to get drunk or just drinking social? Just drinking socially. This is a celebration, not a party. <laughs> Any particular person you're talking to or just talking in general? Uh, just talking in general, really. Just getting to know random people, I guess, is the best way. Did you learn the language? <coughs> I did not. So it's kind of like I'm just trying to communicate as best I can. Right. It's going to be horrible. <laughs> okay. A um, a guy dressed in um, uh, phoenix robes comes over to you, and uh, he sit he sits next to you, and he's like, he he bows deeply to you, and is like, my apologies. Those girls over there, and he points over. And you see three Japanese girls kind of like smiling while they're eating, like they're looking at you, giggling, and they're like, they want me to ask you if uh, your entire body is covered with fur. Um. <laughs> well, for the most part, yes. It is like a fine coat out 
side of the mane around my head. He goes, ah. Hmm. Perhaps. He's like, and, um, I'm assuming, like, I'm assuming someone's translating to that, like, he's speaking to you in Oriental, and there's, uh, uh, somebody else, like an orc who speaks Oriental, translating for you. And uh, he's like, and he looks at the orc and looks back at you and then looks back at the orc. And, and the orc's like scratches his head. He repeated the question. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe his eyes like gets all, he gets all red. And he's like, you, they want to know if. Everything has fur. He kind of looks down at your crotch area. What the fuck am I still into? <laughs> I look around and go, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if I should answer that he, here. He shrugs his shoulders, <laughs> and then the guy's like, and the. <clears throat> guy nods, and he, whispers, he says something like, those ladies would be interested to find out what they say. I can see uh, the orc's response being like, hey, you're going to go on a date with them ladies over there. <laughs> Pretty fun. <laughs> I think they want to hang out with you. <clears throat> yeah. No, I caught the gist. <laughs> Alright, man. Have fun. We're all here to improve relations, and I give a thumbs up. <laughs> Alright. The, the ladies are very nice to you. They take you to, uh, I'm assuming you follow them to uh, the uh, house of some kind that's nearby. And uh, they take care of you, quote unquote. Oh, there. Yay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Aaron. Oh, so, uh, what is it? Um, character name. Oh, Elena. He's yes. talking to the Phoenix guy, and he's like. So, two questions for you. Um, he did give me the piece of jade, right? That's ours to carry. Um, for detecting. Yeah. Uh, I thought he took no. that back. He took that back. Oh. It's, okay. Yeah, it's used to detect corruption. Oh. If you would like it, he will. As a token of his gratitude, he might give it to you. But to, if you want to broach that subject, um. Well, I was just uh. When he gave it to me, I thought that's what he was doing. That's why I gave him a scroll of invisibility. Oh, okay. So we'll say that's the trade, sure. Okay. You have a piece of jade. He's got a scroll of invisibility, which he can't use. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know that. Yeah. So. Um. Okay. He'll try to figure it out, or someone will tell him what it is eventually. Well, he we kind of I kind of already figured out what the oh well, yeah, he knows what it is, but he just can't use it. It's, okay, his his magic is drawn from another source. He doesn't. Right, he, and um, Albaz seems to be drunk, right? Oh yeah, he's drunk he's, and happy. He's drunk and happy for some reason. Well, he's he can't get drunk because he's undead, but the. Side it effects. feels like <laughs> the side effects are like he's drunk. The, the uh, sun right. has made him look like he's drunk, even though he can t never get drunk. Technically, he's just like, this stuff is good. I'm so happy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, he's gone crazy now. All right, um, <laughs> how about the drow diplomat? What is he, he or she doing? <clears throat> She's, um, talking with them, kind of, you overhear the conversation of the same stuff that went over with Zahedin about the Mantis, the islands over here. Um, 
they say that's probably a better bet than landing on the mainland. Um, but the sh um, you want to talk to them further about that or no? Or yeah, I kind of want to get the the diplomat's feel of. Um, what they're trying to accomplish, maybe just overhearing <coughs> her conversation rather than actually participating. Because, uh -huh. I mean, the, our objective is espionage, clearly. We need to find out what they're up to. Give me, um... All right. Give me a perception check. Nice. Or Alright, yeah, you overhear the conversation. Uh, <clears throat> um, as friendly as they are, they're matter-of-factly denying them access to uh, the lands. Um, as in, you know, they want to, the drow was talking about maybe building a base of operation here. Like a uh, find some land, she's like, we have plenty of gold, whatever you need to buy stuff. Um, these people pretty much, lands are spoken for. Um, they really don't have a lot of room, but uh, having creatures like the goblins, the orcs, uh, would not be welcome, but they say the... You can tell by the way they talk, they're not sure what to call her. Um, they've never seen her kind before, and, like, the dog... They, like, skirt around. It's, like, very interesting. They kind of skirt around the whole, we want to move here and, like, kind of live with you guys, to what the hell are you? Like, they've never seen an elf before. Question, you know, so they'll ask the her questions like, um, no, elf, period, yeah, um, elf or drow, they've never I seen, um, so they kind of like skirt while she's asking questions about their land, they ask her questions about her and her race and all this other stuff, but, um, okay. But, you can tell that they're more than happy to trade with them and give them the islands to trade for, with down here. But as far as um, opening up base of operations, um, like a, a port or buying ports or lands, uh, they can negotiate with the people down in the islands and see if they can find, find a property that they can have for themselves to, like, a warehouse. Cause they understand commerce. Right. No, uh, I understand. Um, I try to find out. Um, well, I'm talking with the Phoenix guy this time, so I find a reason to excuse myself. Like, I have to check in with the other crew members and whatnot. He nods and he's like, oh, "Of course." Good. All right. Now it's time for some. Investigative work 101, I go over to where Alba's is. Yeah. And I kind of want to find out what kind of reaction the um, Jade gives if it touches him. So, But I want to do it in a way where... You can conceal I, it quickly so nobody will notice. I, yeah, exactly. All right. So you, like, hand him the Jade or you, like, touch it against him? I, I just touch it against him. With a, like a cloak nearby, so I can kind of cover it if it has a violent reaction. Um. Hmm. Give me a slight hands check then. Okay. Like it would be. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. oh no! What have you done? Why oh, did this to me? Why? Okay. Oh, <laughs> This role will decide your fate. I am sorry, Zalba's uh, so about to die. Oh, oh God! Hallelujah! <laughs> and Alba's gets sliced in half. Yay! <laughs> okay. 
you you thought you're like you thought you're pretty slick there, and you go and like touch it against it, and you see this this glow like it has a like a sh uh, like a shimmer reaction, a little bit a little bit of shimmer reaction, but you see like a little bit of darkness coming from Albas and going into it and becoming a little and it come kind of goes into it a slight bit. And when you take it away, it just, it has like, it looks not as green as it was before. It's like slightly darker green. And that's when you see people pulling out the katanas. Alright. Alright, so, hmm. Interesting, good. Uh, what do you do, Aaron? Well, if I can't slide a hand, I'll lie. Okay. <laughs> Roll that bluff How check. I lie against this. What are you, what are you lying about? Hold on, I have to make this good. That's very so cool. They, and then they go... clearly saw me touch them with something they thought was jade. Alright, uh, maybe I'll try to make them believe that I was touching him with something else. Um. Like what? That's what I'm trying to think of. <coughs> I, I will try to lie and say that um, I'm just trying to trick him into thinking I did something. Uh, weird to him. Now that that won't work. Right. Um, bright flashlight, and they they're getting up and drawing swords. Well, first off, I'll have to find out why they're drawing swords because I don't know that they um, saw it, right? Um, you're pretty sure they noticed it. <laughs> okay. They seem hostile. Okay, I'm just casting magic here, guys. Just leave me alone. So you're gonna try to map? Uh, say, oh, I was just casting magic. Yes. Yeah, it, it's just something I joke about. I'm just trying to calm him down because he's normally not like this. <coughs> All right. Uh, Hallelujah. Oh, well, I'm gonna give you the same. I'm, I'm just messing with him, type thing. So. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna roll d10 as well. Sense motive. Ooh. Oh! Oh, beautiful! Oh, beautiful! So you saved me! You saved what you do me, me with. You saved me for what you almost um. <laughs> you. Uh, I was I was getting all the things ready, and everything. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, you saved me! Oh, oh thank God! I don't <laughs> want to lose another character. The camera is like, who saw it? Is like. He looks like he looks at the sake and he goes, "I guess it was too much sake." He says, "Too much sake." You didn't drink it. No, more too <laughs> much sake. Never. I apologize too, saying you know I didn't mean to cast magic. Yeah, they can never have too much sake. It's older and stuff, and they go, "It's all right. We're all good." <laughs> all right, Leo. Um, wow. I'm going to go find the, some... Uh, how busy does Jack's character look like he is? Uh, he looks like he's talking with somebody um, right now. Okay. I'm going to ask... I'm going to go to where Jack is and slightly just nudge him say, well, hey. I'm assuming Jack saw this whole thing go down. Except the only person who did not see it is the person that's busy with three girls right now. Hey. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure uh, Zahedin saw it, but Zahedin chose not to act on it. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, if I act, that could add, add, add to the problems. My it's sister, like so to, to speak, say... is right there. I will let her deal with the situation. All right. I will pretend I saw some... nothing. Alright. Have... If you, you did something, you would try to yeah. save the end of the the mantis looks over and sees the guards pull their swords and, you know, like continues talking to you. 
but like every once in a while glances over to make sure everything's all right when they put their swords away she's just kind of relaxed and goes back to talking i mean i'm it's like i probably would have looked over too it just kind of like looked back and forth but not like we're having a conversation here I mean, until the swords start flying, there's no point in acting, because otherwise it's like, if I react now, that could jeopardize everything, and also get us killed, and then everything goes out the window. Alright, so, um, I just <laughs> patiently wait for you and say, um, I have something to discuss with you, if you'd like, whenever you're not busy, and just wait. Okay, I will... You know, if I find a stop, stopping point, I will stop and then go speak to my sister, so to speak. She nods, sips. She excuses you two to talk and goes back to talking to some other goblins and stuff. Yep. What's going yeah. on? So, I tell you everything that I overheard about how they gave, uh, that they're not willing to give them any lands, but that the drow were willing to offer payment and things of that nature. So, more diplomatic than I would have assumed our enemy to be. Um, I also relate to you that I managed to get a stone corrupted. Clearly they knew they must have seen something, but we could potentially use it as leverage against them, against this group, saying that they somehow uh, concealed the fact that they uh, corrupted the stone by giving them a fake stone. Mm, I think right now our best bet is to not discuss any of those type things going on. Because technically it could come back and bite us in the ass ourselves. If you think about it. Well, either way, I think it's good news that they're not willing to give them any land. That's fine. I don't know if you want to Stir up any trouble, though. That's my only other question I had. Uh, stirring up trouble, I think, would just get all of us in trouble right now, and just would be a bad idea in general. You know, I was thinking about their offer, um, about them living here. I was thinking about maybe they could do some sort of quest or something to help them with whatever problems they have, because I'm sure they have some sort of problem. You learned the language for, the, for these guys, too, right? Yeah, I did. Um, perhaps maybe you want to have a small discussion with them, you know, out of earshot of the others that are with us about, you know, home? Yeah, I could find out uh, if they're willing to trade with us separately. Uh, what other things you could, can you think of that you want to talk to them so I know? Well, just that right now at the at the moment I think would be the best move for us. Just uh, start with opening up trade? Yeah. Because that way then we can send other diplomats over to discuss and uh, we can definitely inform them not to send more members of the family over there to see them, okay. to see them so that you know things don't go bad. Yeah, because if they went to our place they would see the vampires and you saw the reaction with... I don't know if you saw the reaction with the jam or not. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, technically... Technically, as our family... Speaking from our family's point of view, we might be able to use these guys as an advantage in, you know, getting the Hesters removed from power. Yeah, true. True enough. Okay. I'll, uh... After I visit with Jack, I'll go back to talk to the Phoenix guy about the problems they are afflicted with, like um, things about their land, their enemies, thing, things of that nature. Hmm. He, he seems a little insulted by that, a little bit, but he tells you that you... He did well, tell you that the... The, the corruption. If you look at your map and look at the area um, north um, west, the kind of purplish spot. Yeah, but beyond that, there's like a massive wall, and there's an area beyond the wall. 
He says this area is all corrupted land. And is um, belongs to um, those creatures, an ill supply of them, come pouring forth a massive hole. There used to be a tower there, and evil creatures poured forth from there all the time. But for some reason, the tower exploded years ago. Exactly three years ago. But ever since then, uh, creatures still come forth from um, the plane of the hell with some sort of corruption on them, and the corruption can spread. Um, but so ever since the tower is gone, the corruption is um, is slowly dissipating. But that place is still probably going to be corrupted for a very long period of time. Okay. Um, I find out if he uh, knows anything about. Um, well, I, I ask him if he wants to talk privately, and I want to just uh, reveal something to him that I don't want to, that I want to just talk to him about. All right, he uh, takes you over to a, a like a a house of his, a room. He says, uh, "I will let you go with me." You notice that when you do leave the party that they're keeping the goblins and the orcs at the party area, but not letting them enter in the city area. Okay. Um, yeah, you're the one of the few people that are allowed to pass by. It probably there helps that I look like a drow, doesn't it? Yeah. He nods, he's like, so, I have a lot of questions for you that may not be appropriate, but... No, please, I, I, fit, I know I somehow um, I offended you with my questions. Um, it's um, only pro it's only fair to, that you ask me prying questions of your own. What uh, I heard this land that you come from is called Romania. That's true. Many uh, warring factions uh, fight for sovereignty in our in the land I come from, so strife and conflict maybe. are common. I heard from the many. I heard from the uh, goblins that there was only two factions: the goblins and the Romanians are fighting. Is there another one? There's always internal strife between the peoples. Ah. Even though we have a loose alliance between each group, each group has their own sections within them. He smiles, he's like, yes, uh, seems like we're more than like in a lot of ways, he says. For example, I'm not actually a member of these goblin tribes. Hmm. I pull my hairpin revealing who I, what I really look like. Looks at you, he's like, ah. He looks at your ears for a second and then looks... You're a half-elf, right? Yeah, I'm still an elf of some sort. He goes, hmm. You're... These elf creatures, uh, what... He points at your ears like, where did those come from? They call themselves drow. On They're... my side of the family, we call ourselves elves. Thousands of years of internal conflict have driven our people apart and made separate species of the drow is the darker one in the camp. Hmm. There's no outright hostility between us, but generally speaking, um, we do attack each other on occasion. So my guess is you're Romanian then? Yes. I am from uh, 
a city much further away than the orcs are hailing from. So you managed to um, steal yourself on their ship as a spy? Yes. I only revealed the truth to you because I am in need of your help. Hmm. Looks at you straight in the eye then. He goes, When the samurai jumped up at you, what was the reason for them doing that? They never act that way before. Unless they are programmed to when they see a sign of corruption. I was... I'd bluff again, I suppose, at this point. Alright. I was just casting a friendly spell at my friend who was um, clearly <laughs> intoxicated. I was just poking fun at him. Basically, you want to keep the same role or do you want to see if you can get better? I, I could keep the same role. It's pretty much the same lie. Alright, I'm going to go. He's not, he's not as uh, suspicious. So I'm going to give him a six. <laughs> wow. He looks at you and he says, hmm, I thought we were getting good and you're not lying to me. But I see that there's certain things you don't want to happen to your friend. Certain times, well, if you could clearly tell, I'm really well versed at lying, so I'm surprised you could see through my guys. <laughs> Makes me wonder which one of the things you've been telling me is the truth or not. Um, but I'll trust what I, you say. I'm sure you have things that you don't want to tell me either. No, you are correct in that matter. Um, Let's just say that uh, my group, since you're willing to trade with these groups, that we at least want the same commodities um, as they have with a trade to our region. Well, let me make this perfectly clear since we are on the same page. The only reason we are not affording these people land or places to live amongst us is because it will cause a great problem. Our people have been trained, and a lot of people have been trained since birth, to attack these creatures on site. It would not be a benefit for them to live anywhere. Even if we were to coordinate off and say it was their land. Um, well, people... your problem and your solution are the same. Um, because for them to have land, they would have to have land where no one else wants land. Exactly. And that's the same area where you're, that you have demons coming up from. Who knows if these would group of individuals would also be corrupted? It's hard to say. I almost guarantee the corruption could probably spread to them, but I've never known. I've never seen a goblin not corrupted. But I, I see your point. Um, yes. So, um, if they are human in appearance. I don't think we would mind that much if that makes sense. No, that I I'm sure if we if we had any refugees of our own, we'd be willing to send some this way. But at least making a trade post would be viable among your already existing trade posts. I hear you have on the South Islands. Yes. Something where we could uh, dis disembark. Um, apply our wares, eat and drink, be merry and leave, and return with whatever well, wares you come from. All you do is trade. The best place is the island, because uh, right. they just trade with everyone. Right, no, of um, course. They have um, the control commerce with, and they know the rules of what can be traded and what cannot be traded. Um, well, very well. Um, I don't. I don't know if we have a need for our people coming here, but I understand the plight of my enemy 
even though they are my enemy. I feel for them. Um, just now would be... At this time, we could not... <sighs> there would be blood in the streets. As much as I... To try to convince them. Hundreds of them would probably fall and die. It would not be a good time for them to be here. Even if we did cordon off a section of land that someone wanted. No, that's uh, it, understandable. It just would be... Um, the fear of them becoming corrupted as well. Nope, I understand. Um... Well, thank you for your time. Uh, did you have any other questions for me before uh, I leave your presence? Mm. Yes. Uh, who are you, the diplomat of Romania? Do you speak for them? Not, necess not necessarily. I like to present myself as a face of the Romanian cause and people. Did you have something in mind that you'd like to discuss? Yeah. Uh, who among you is... Uh, are you the only spy on the ship, or is there another one? Is it, I would like to speak and go back with you on the ship. And speak with the... Um... To speak with the people and see what I can do. So I want to meet and see this new land. And I can accompany. I can meet and see whoever your leader is, and perhaps um, make a treaty. But our leader became a god. <laughs> not be the one to make that decision. There is someone coming with us. He has been given. Right and passage by our by someone very important. He's you can tell he was about ready to say something that he probably shouldn't have, but then he started the issue. Um, I res I respect his decision, and I say I will be willing to accompany you as well as my compatriots. Yes. The man's name is Doji Kwana. He is a member of the crane, and he is going to go with you to seek a treaty from from our people. To you. Very well. I'll treat him with all respect. Um, he nods. The only problem is is. Uh, getting them away from your adversaries and meeting your people would be probably the hardest thing to think. Unless you have someone that can make a treaty um, with him while he's um, talking with your enemy. Well, we can make it. some arrangements, but as far as actual treaties, <laughs> you would have to speak to our um, lords and ladies. Uh, but I can definitely be a goat between, but you said you want someone to meet them personally, which I can understand. So yes. that's, I mean, that, there's a difference between meeting a diplomat and meeting the actual leader, you know? Because yes. as someone who can be trusted, I can, you can give me whatever information you want, I can portray that information over to whom you need to, knowing that it will reach that person. Because that's my, do that's pretty much what I do. Get information from point A to point B. From my information that I have... Um, a, is, but a person from point A to point B is a little more challenging, but not beneath my abilities. I am just letting you know what is transpiring so you can... Very well. I will seek out the... Is he going to be boarding our ship on our way back? Yes. Very well. I'll make accommodations with the captain. The, a uh, ship from uh, the Mantis Clan will also be following you 
so they know the way to your cities. So that when the open trade is established, they know where to go. Their master, Salish. I'm sure you'll have to cover that with the devil mat that's uh, on the enemy side. Um, that I talked about the drow. But I'm sure she will have to agree. Yes. As you, as you know, I'm not really the face of the Goblin Kingdom since we're passing a voyage on them. But I do appreciate you keeping my secret. So with and I'll with my the secret as long as is um, necessary. Oh, I trust me. I understand. That's why I gave you the secret in the first place, because it builds a level of trust. However, if I find that any corruption befalls any of my people while you are here, I will not be. It will not be pleasant for you. Know that yeah. I'm. An, know that I'm an honorable uh, rogue of sorts, and though I keep my secrets, I will fulfill the duty you placed upon me with right. the honor you can expect from any of your soldiers. Yeah, he nods and he uh, tells you, you know, that was pretty much the night. Guys talking amongst each other. Yeah, pretty much. All right, guys, we're going to hold this episode here. And again, if you guys are enjoying, you know, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode. As for now, this is Strato Time, or Strato signing out.